Hello, I'm Robin Vincent from SurfaceProAudio.com and I'm right in the middle of producing a video that's going to benchmark the performance of the new Surface Pro 2017. And I just wanted to give you a sneak preview of where I am at the moment. Here's a Cubase project I'm working on full of a whole load of stuff. I've got 16 tracks of audio all layered up with a bunch of different effects. EQ, dynamics, reverb, all plugged in onto every single channel. And then alongside that, I've got about a dozen VST instruments covering sample based and CPU based. I've got orchestral streaming from Contact. I've got things like the Mini Moog from Archeria, the SEM, all with automation and bits and pieces going on. I've got some Reactor. What else have I got in here? Contact, as I say running action strings, bits and pieces, a Jupiter 8. The idea being to build some kind of musical project which gives an idea of what the Surface Pro 2017 can do in a real way. You know, a relatively modest project, 16 channels of audio, a dozen synths. That sounds about the sort of thing that people might be doing. And this is the sort of performance that it's giving at the moment. So you've got sample based streaming and polyphony coming off the contact instruments. You've got CPU intensive synthesizer creation on the Arturia synths and you've got Reactor just messing everything up. And even so, the processing performance here is not even reaching 50% yet. We also have to keep an eye on the temperatures. That's definitely been a factor, but at the moment the processor speed has been almost completely flat. I've got a lot more tests to run. I'll be doing some cross comparisons with the Surface Pro 4 to see what sort of performance gains that we've got with this new Surface. But as it stands at the moment, so far, it's looking pretty good. So that's encouraging. So keep a lookout for my full report coming very soon.